Hi, and welcome to Fantastic Living. I'm your host, Thuy Fan. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a dish that is a Vietnamese favorite. It's called Bò La Lok, or Vietnamese grilled beef with betel leaves. And these are the betel leaves that we're talking about. Um, my, my family actually grows this in the backyard, so we actually are able to get it from farm to table or garden to table, so it's really fresh. But you can find these at the Asian grocery stores, um, and they just grill up so beautifully, and you just need um, a few spices to really kick it up, and they are so good on the grill but you can also do it on the stovetop on a cast iron pan and um, it gives you kind of the same it's not as good as on the grill but on a quick weeknight it makes a really great dinner so um, I'll show you how to make that what you will need for that is one pound of ground beef you want about 85% lean beef if, uh, if possible and then you're going to need three tablespoons of sugar you'll need half a teaspoon of five spice powder and then you need two tablespoons of chopped lemongrass. And then I have here about two to three tablespoons of chopped garlic. That's gonna make it really good. Um, and then you also need three tablespoons of fish sauce and then two tablespoons of soy sauce. And we're gonna mix it all together and make a paste and then we're gonna marinate the meat and then we'll start rolling. And I'll show you a trick um, to roll the betel leaves and that will make it really stay without needing to put a toothpick in. So let's get started. So first, we will combine everything and make a paste and then we'll add the meat together. And this is three tablespoons of sugar. Five spice powder um, is something that we use a lot in Asian cooking. Half a teaspoon. And if you ever smell five spice powder, it's so fragrant and it is so good with pork and beef um, and chicken as well. I use that a lot for barbecued goods. And we'll add our lemongrass just by virtue of these ingredients you know it's going to be really really flavorful garlic now for our soy sauce and fish sauce and fish sauce is a cornerstone of Vietnamese cooking especially. Some people are not able to stomach the smell of it, but since I've grown up with it, it's something that gives it that umami flavor that we all want. So, adds a nice saltiness. And the great thing about this dish is it doesn't take that long to marinate. The meat will really pick up on all these spices and the flavoring, and you can make it fairly quickly and just pop it on the grill or I want to mix this all together. I think this is the trick of it that you want to mix it all together as a paste versus putting the meat and then throwing all the spices and everything on top of it. So then you can have a more evenly distributed marinade into the meat. I'm going to add a little bit of ground black pepper because I like it. All right, I'll grab my marinating gloves and then we'll put it together. Now grab our ground beef, put it in. And we will just pour our marinade right over it and then mush it up. Now this is very good to eat with rice vermicelli. Um, if you wanna do it that way, or you can eat it with rice. Sometimes people like it just as an appetizer. But it's so flavorful. I really enjoy eating this. Okay, just make sure it's really well incorporated.
And also one good thing about this is in the end if you find that it's not flavorful enough for you, it tastes really good if you dip it in soy sauce so you can't really go wrong with it. Okay, once it's marinated, you want to just set it aside and saran wrap it and then let it marinate for a couple hours if you can. If not, you can, maybe after 30 minutes, you can start rolling and I'll show you how to do that. So to start rolling, what we want to do is roll it on the back side so that you will see the front side. Take a little bit of beef here. And then you're going to roll from top of the leaf to the back. And then you're going to take your stem, poke a hole, and then this creates a natural sealing agent for these. These can be as big or as little as you want. All the leaves are different sizes, so it's kind of hard to do a one size fit all. And honestly, if you rolled it on the wrong side, it's okay too. Still tastes the same. Just won't look as pretty, but once it grills up, it'll be okay. There's something about these betel leaves that when they are cooked up, they just have such a nice flavor and just makes it so complex and earthy in a way, it's so good. And on the flip side, if you were to use this for grilling on the actual grill, obviously you can't have little rolls like that rolling around, it'll just get lost in between the little grates, but you can just add it onto a skewer um, and then you won't have to worry about tucking these in. You can just put them straight in a skewer and it should be fine. And then you could grill it easier that way. Since we are doing this on the stovetop, this is a good way to seal them. And here's a trick if you if your stem is a little bit wilted, just poke a hole with a fork and that'll help you. So you have options there. We'll do a few more and then take you over to the stove and we'll start grilling these up. So now we're all done rolling and I'm going to transfer it to this plate so that we can make it a little bit easier to transport to the stove. Perfect little parcels, beef, in betel leaves. Okay, so now we're gonna bring this to the stove and we're gonna cook it up in our cast iron pan so it's really fast. If you don't have a grill, this is a great way to um, cook it up and make it really easy on yourself. So let's do that. So first we're gonna turn this on. We're gonna add a little bit of oil to this. Now traditionally this is served with peanuts on top, but um, we have a little bit of a peanut allergy here, so we're not gonna put peanuts on there, but that is an option for you on the end if you wanna finish it off. Um, and also a scallion oil if you want to, but um, I find that just eating it straight from the pan is super good, so. All right. I like to put them on the bottom side, so then it kind of seals it in first. You'll see they start to shrivel up, so then when you see it here, it's all nice and fresh and green, but they will shrivel up, but in the best possible way.
can have this as an appetizer. <laughs> Our bala loke is ready for consumption. Looks so good, I'm gonna keep it taste now. It's so juicy. A really nice flavor. Lemongrass, garlic. Mmm, that's really good. This would be really good on top of boom or vermicelli or wrapped and rolled. Well, also really good just like that. <laughs> good stuff. I could eat the whole plate. And I might. 